So anyway, literally everywhere she went, she was just making out with other guys. I hate to say this to you, Bruce, but you know what it sounds like you're caught up in, right? No. What? Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? Stop it. Hey, seriously, stop right now. No, 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 no. I want your ugly, I want your disease. I want your everything as long as it's free. I want your love. Love, 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 I want your love. <laughs> <laughs> What is up? How's the Legion of Comic Collectors doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Journey into Legends. This is where we look at my favorite Batman series of all time, Legends of the Dark Knight, one story at a time. Today is a two-issue story, issues 83 and 84. It is called Infected, written by Warren Ellis, with art by John McRae. So, sometimes these quick stories, you know, single or two issue stories can be good. So let's jump in and take a look at Infected. We start off seeing what we would learn to be two human experimenti escaping the government. Batman runs into them because he finds the drug ring he's investigating murdered. He follows the police band and first encounters these guys which can shoot bones out of their hands and starts researching, knowing that they're government experiments. One of them dies, killing himself, which causes the second one to mutate, which is going to be super highly contagious virus, which leads into the second book where the final confrontation happens. Batman uses a gun to disable the bone shooting arms, which I suppose is supposed to be uh, controversial, but him chopping off a head and leaving it at the person who created the experiments is probably more, in my opinion. All right, so that was a quick look at Infected, a two-issue story. Uh, I'm going to give this just a solid three out of five bat signals. Pretty straightforward story. First issue introduces the, the villains, and Batman encounters them, and sets up the whole, the survivor can spread this infection, so it needs to be found quick. Not too much to the story. I think it tried to be a little too controversial at the end. I mean, I'm never a fan of Batman using a gun, and it's probably the biggest way you can make it controversial. And then the whole head chopped off at the end. It's a little over the top, but not a bad story. A quick, easy, two-issue story read. Not enough time to really set up the drama per uh, perfectly, but good nonetheless. Just a solid middle-of-the-road three. So there you have it, guys. Uh, always appreciate you tuning in and uh, listening to me talk about my favorite Batman series. The great thing about it, if you don't like one story, the creative team and artist is switching up the very next story. A lot of variety, and I, I truly do love this series. Would love to hear from you in the comments, and with that, I will see you all next time.